to lesson 22, we're going to be dividing three and four digit dividends by two digit divisors resulting in two and three digit quotients. And we're going to reason about the decomposition of the successive remainders in each place value unit. So we're going to uh, go ahead and get started. As you can see, I already did my rounding and I said, well, 413 divided by 19 is around 400 divided by 20 which would give us 20. So our answer should come out to be somewhere around 20. And same thing for B, I did a sim similar. We said 708 divided by 67 is around 700 divided by 70, which gives us an answer of seven. So our answer for B should be around seven. Let's go ahead and look at A. Remember the directions are asking us to divide and then check using multiplication. So let's go ahead and write out our steps. Division, multiplication, subtraction, bring down, and repeat. All right, step one. Four divided by 19. I can't divide four hundredths by 19 without regrouping. So I say, okay, well, that's going to be zero. Zero times 19 is zero. Subtract. 4 minus 0 is 4, and then I'm going to bring down my 1. So now I have 41. I know that two groups of 20 would be 40, so 20, 40. So I know that two groups of 19 is going to be just under 40. So I'm going to put my 2 up here, so 41 divided by 19 is 2. 2 times 19, well, 2 times 9 is 18, and 2 times 1, 10 would be two tens plus one ten equals thirty-eight. Next step, I'm going to do my subtraction. Oh, I forgot to check off your steps. Always make sure you're checking off your steps. Sometimes I'll forget because I'm moving so fast. But this was uh, the second step where we did our multiplication. Sorry, our division. Forty-one divided by nineteen is two. Then we did our multiplication. Two times nineteen is thirty-eight. Now it's time to do the subtraction. So we have 41 minus 38. If you don't want to regroup, you could just say 38, 39. 38 to 39 is 1. 39 to 40, 40 to 41 would be 3. Let's double check that. So I regroup one of my tens. Now I have three tens remaining. Now I have 11. 11 minus 8 is 8, 9, 10, 11, 3. Yes, so bring down my other 3. And I'm going to repeat the steps again. Division, 33 divided by 19. Well, I know that 33 is, is going to, I'm only going to be able to pull one 19 out of 33 because two 19s was 38. So if I did my list of my 19 times tables, it would be 19 times 1. And then 19 times 2 is 38. So I know that if I go to 2, it's going to be too, too many. I can't get 38 out of 33. So it's going to have to be 1. And 1 times 19 is 19. And I have my subtraction, regroup, 13 minus 9 is 4. 1, I have a remainder of 14. So if I wanted to check that, just do the multiplication. And I would say my divisor times my quotient plus my remainder should give me my dividend. Let's see. 19 times 21. That's 19. And I have 2 times 19 is 380. When I add 19 plus 380, I get 9, 9, tens, and three hundredths. I just added 9 plus 0. 8 and 10s plus 110 equals 9 10s and then 300s. So now if I add this to my remainder, 9 plus 4 is 13. Regroup my 1, I get 10, 11, and then regroup my 1, and I have 4. So 413 is my dividend and I know that's correct. All right, let's take a look at this one. We're going to uh, change up the way we do this a little bit. I'm not going to divide here. By now we should know that I can say, well, I can't divide this 700s by 
67 without decomposing. So I'm not going to, I'm going to skip this zero step that I did here. And I'm going to say, well, I know that that will be a zero. So 70, how many 67s can I get out of 70? And the answer should be one because we know 67, if I was to list my 67 times tables or my multiples of 67, 67 and 67 times 2 would be 14 plus 1, 134. So that's times 1 times 2. So we have a second step. Did my division, so it was one. Then I did my multiplication. I get one times 67 to 67. Do my subtraction, regroup. 10 minus seven is three. And I have zero here. So I did my subtraction. Now I'm gonna bring down my eight. Now I have 38 divided by 67. I cannot do that without regrouping. So that means that I'm going to have a remainder of, multiply 0 times 67, and I get 0, subtract, I have a remainder of 38. Remember, this 0 has to be in the 1's place. If you don't put that 0 in the 1's place, it's not going to be correct. And we can check by saying 67 times 10, and based off of our first unit, first lesson, we know that 67 times 10 is just going to move over one place value unit and become 670 and then I take 670 plus my remainder of 38 and if you notice this 670 shows up right there as 67 tens but when I add 670 plus 38 I get 8 10 7 so 708 which is my original dividend hopefully that helps if not feel free to ask questions in the comments below I'll try to answer those comments as soon as possible. And if we're in class and you think about it, you can just make mention, Mr. Kennedy, lesson 22, you talked about whatever the case may be, and I'll try to do my best to explain it. By all means, like and subscribe, watch another video, and I hope to see you soon, and I hope you're learning.